Welcome to Wasa Bali Channel, the number one channel for you to know how to travel to Bali, Bali travel regulation, and condition in Bali now. If you're interested in on those, consider to subscribe. Guys, guys, as you may heard, it's all in the media. Our president, Mr. Joko Widodo, read to the condition of COVID-19 in Indonesia. He announced that Number one, no need to wear masks when you are in outdoor and not crowded. But if you are indoor, like in mall, offices, in public transportation, or you are in crowded area even outdoor, you still need to wear a mask. But if it's like this, outdoor, not crowded, then you don't have to wear a mask. And then he continued for those who's not feeling very well, got flu or cough, fever, etc. The elderly people still need to wear masks. So for those who hate to wear masks, there you go, man. And number two that he announced, no more PCR tests. Not entry PCR test and not pre-departure PCR test. Yay! This is what you've been waiting for, right? I understand in some countries, RT-PCR test is quite expensive. And now, there you go. You don't need to. Our president said, No more. No more pre-departure PCR test for those who already fully vaccinated. Two doses or one dose for Jensen. So no more pre-departure PCR test and no more PCR test when you arrive in Indonesia. But it's only for those who are already fully vaccinated and those who got body temperature less than 37 degrees Celsius. But if you are not fully vaccinated yet and your body temperature is higher than 37 degrees Celsius, then you got to do the PCR test. So when you arrive to Indonesia, when you arrive in Bali, when you get off from the plane, you will go to the first checkpoint. Normally in the checkpoint, they will ask for your vaccine certificate and your pre-departure PCR test certificate. And now, they're only gonna ask for your vaccine certificate. They're not gonna ask your pre-departure PCR test. So let me go through briefly again what you should prepare if you wanna go to Indonesia, if you wanna go to Bali. Now, before departure, you have to make sure that your passport is still valid for at least six months. And then you have to fill in the Peduli Lindungi app. I already shown it in my previous video. In this video, I also mentioned the link down in the description. Just skip it until the part that I explained step by step how to register, how to fill in the profile. But if you still have a problem, no worries. Somebody will help you at the airport. Just make sure you bring your vaccine certificate. And then you need to fill in the electronic custom declaration. This is to speed up the process where you are in custom at the airport. I mentioned down the link in the description for you to fill in the electronic custom declaration. But anyway, if you find difficulties to fill in the electronic custom declaration, no worries, you might be just need to fill in the small piece of paper of custom like we used to do before the pandemic when you're entering in other countries. And then the health insurance health insurance that's covered COVID-19 this still mandatory even though sometimes they ask for it and sometimes they don't but you better prepare right if you don't have one I mentioned down in the description the safety wings an American health insurance which is cover COVID and works in Indonesia click that it's suitable for digital nomad and those who love to travel but however if you are in Australia or in Canada you will find this notification this notification will pop up no worries, I already called the safety wing. They say just do it after you land it in Indonesia, after you land it in Bali. They said it only takes two minutes to process your insurance. And of course, the last one, the visa. You need the visa. If you are coming from these 60 countries, then you can get the visa on arrival at the airport. But if you are not or you want to stay longer than 60 days, then you need the B211A visa. You apply that before your departure. It takes like around seven working days. If you want me to do your visa, become your sponsor, just email me. I'll also mention my email down in the description and that's all normally there's one more the pre-departure PCR test but no more no more RT-PCR test 48 hour max before departure no more risk if positive then you have to cancel your trip well this is the problem until I made this video the signage document not yet issued no one has it i even called to my friend at the immigration i even called my friend at the office of minister of tourism they don't have it they said okay please wait for one or two days what can i say so it may not be applied yet at the airport because they also need and written all the procedure or the if so they know what to do if they're facing a certain condition so i guess we still need to wait about a day or two so that's it this is only my short video just to answer all your questions since this morning i read so many emails asking okay is it true okay is it true okay is it true i answer it now it's true but might be not applied yet we have to wait one or two days the procedures anyway so share this video so more and more people know about this update more and more people know about this great news hit the subscribe button for those who haven't and smash the notification bell so you don't miss any update from me regarding how to travel to bali bali travel regulation and condition in bali now my name is okimisa i'm your host in bali see you in the island of god stay safe